This is a short movie on how to do a manual um, stitch using Image Pro. I'm just going to take two images. Um, these are images that were acquired uh, by myself. I'm just going to zoom a little bit so we can see both of them. These were actually taken uh, on a fairly low powered uh, objective, like a five times, I think. And we can see that I had some overlap, and they're probably taken with about 10% overlap, and we can see there's a feature which repeats there. So, to do a tile inside Image Pro, just go to Process, Tile Images. This opens up the Tile dialog box, and we've got here the two images that are currently open, so I'm just going to add those across, and I'm just going to show the layout. Now we can see at the moment, they're actually the wrong way around. So if I just reverse X and Y, I can see they're actually in the right place. Now they could be that way round, but they're not. But I have the ability to change that as well. And we can do this with as many images as you as you need to. Um, now, you may be able to make out there's some red lines on the images here. These are the areas in which we're going to try and perform a stitch. So if I increase this and make that 100, the, the lines get further apart. And basically, I want my repeat points to be within that line. Okay, so I can just see there's a tip there, it's not there. So let's bring it up to 150. And now I'm now I'm right. So 150, my red bar's in. And when I'm taking these images with overlap, I really want to achieve about 10 to 20% overlap between fields. So now I'm ready to go. I simply just press apply. And it's done the calculation for me. And you can see it's nicely stitched. What I'll do is I'll just do a local zoom. So just move that off to the right, bring that down to say 200%. I'll take off the crosshair so you can see it properly. And you can see we've done quite a nice stitch there. So, the final thing to do is to crop this so I can use it. So I just use my region of interest tool, just draw a nice region of interest, and then go edit, duplicate, which leaves my nice single image showing me all of the information across two fields. I hope that's been of help. If you need any more information, please contact your dealer or your local sales office. That's great. Thanks.